You don't have to go big to stay comfy. These compact and lightweight travel trailers will let you hit the road in comfort while using a small SUV to tow instead of a truck. Let's check out some of our favorite options. Happier Camper HC1 Studio Package. Length, 13 feet. I don't think you can have a list of compact solo rigs without mentioning the Happier Camper. And we're focusing on the HC1 Studio Package here, which includes a small wet bath. What makes the Happier Camper line stand out compared to just about any other RV on the market is its modular interior with the adaptive system. Some folks hate it, but most love it. And this system of blocks lets you change the interior on the fly and easily configure the layout to suit your specific needs. That means you can go from a queen-size bed in this little 13-foot travel trailer to a dining area for six in just a few minutes, and then to a cozy home office and back again. It's pretty cool to see, but some travelers would rather have everything in place already and not have to worry about moving blocks to fit their needs. At just 1,100 pounds, the HC1 is lightweight, even compared to other compact rigs. You won't need a large, expensive tow vehicle to pull this camper. In fact, many smaller SUVs and even some cars can handle the job. This not only saves you money on a tow vehicle and probably gets you on the road sooner, but it also makes the H1C incredibly easy to maneuver and park, even in tight spaces. Whether you're navigating a crowded city or venturing off the beaten path, the HC1's compact size and lightweight design make it a breeze to handle. In terms of amenities, you've got a kitchenette, a drawer refrigerator, and a sink so you can prep some basic meals and keep your food fresh on the road. There's also, surprisingly, a wine rack in this rig, and I guess that's what makes this camper happier than the rest. They've also managed to squeeze in a small wet bath with a movable toilet. There's not much to write home about there, but it will get the job done. Overall, if you're prioritizing a compact size, but still want to check the boxes like a burner and bathroom, the HC1 Studio Package can work. However, this little rig isn't cheap, so it's probably not the best choice for the first time solo RVer. Airstream Base Camp, length 16 feet, three inches. The Airstream Base Camp comes in at just over three feet longer than the Happier Camper HC1, but with that extra length, you get a proper porcelain toilet, a mini fridge with a freezer, and of course, a little more space. The Airstream Base Camp is geared towards the adventurer rather than the urbanite. If you're a typical ground camper and you're looking for a rig to hit the trails with, you'll probably like the Base Camp. The standard package comes with ground clearance of just over 7 inches, but if you go for the X package, you'll get an extra 3.5 inch lift along with some tougher rims to handle more off-road adventures. I've always loved the Base Camp, and it's a rig we've covered a lot on our list, but the 2024 edition has a power ton jack, which really simplifies the hitching and leveling process. Honestly, I think they should have had this years ago, especially for a rugged rig like this, but now I'm just happy it's there. My favorite thing about Base Camp, no matter what year you're talking about, is the curved kitchen at the front of the rig. The counter curves with the window, and you're able to chop your veggies while soaking in amazing scenery. Most larger rigs place the kitchen against the wall or a small window, but the base camp completely changes that. Similar to the happier camper, the sleeping area can transform into a workspace or dining area, but it doesn't have the same modular cube approach. Instead, things are a bit simpler here, with fewer options, but still very functional. Even though the base camp is all about going off the beaten path, you still get the luxury of a proper porcelain toilet, which is a game changer for a lot of folks. Like most Airstreams, this isn't going to be the most budget-friendly pick, and you should expect to pay $45,000 for a new base camp, and an additional $7,000 to $8,000 if you pick up the X package. But if you're ready to upgrade your rugged ground camping, to a rugged little travel trailer, that price point can make a lot of sense. Scamp Travel Trailers The iconic exterior of a Scamp gives it a unique look. Not only is this fiberglass built attractive, lightweight, and unique, but it also means that your Scamp is built to last. 
These types of travel trailers are more resistant to leaks and cracks, making them a good buy in my experience. Another huge attraction in terms of where buyers purchase Scamp travel trailers is the fact that they offer a number of customizable options. While this may make the initial purchase price change drastically, depending on how much you add, just about everything inside a Scamp is customizable. You can add as many appliances as you want, including air conditioning, and even the 13-foot long Scamp can fit a bathroom inside, which is critical for any longer trips. In terms of interior design, there are two different Scamp options to choose from. The deluxe option gives you the option to have an all oak or all birch interior, which may or may not add weight to your travel trailer. This is definitely something to check on as well, but the deluxe Scamp models are very attractive and vintage in their design. While it's small and may or may not have a bathroom on board, depending on which model you choose, Scamps are built to last and are extremely reliable. They are also easy to tow and drive, with their rounded frame giving you some level of aerodynamics. All in all, this is a great travel trailer to consider if you're looking for a more spacious option. Little Guy Max The Little Guy Max comes in at 21 feet, which is pretty lengthy for a lightweight trailer. Inside, you'll find beautiful custom-made solid wood cabinetry and huge European windows with built-in shades and screens. The Little Guy Max is geared towards the solo traveler who enjoys short, recreational trips. If you're looking for a rig with plenty of storage and a bright, spacious interior, you'll probably love the Max. The exterior features Asdell, which cleans up beautifully, and welded aluminum framing for durability. However, the exterior storage doors are a bit small and can be difficult to open and close. One standout feature of the Max is the wet bath, which offers a good trade-off for those who don't mind sacrificing a three-piece bath for a smaller length and lighter weight. Despite being a wet bath, there's still plenty of room to move around without feeling cramped. The interior of the Max boasts an impressive 57 square feet of storage, which is remarkable for a 3,500-pound RV. This abundance of storage helps keep the space tidy and organized. While the Max has many of appealing features, there are a few aspects that could be improved. The locking components on the cabinetry are not as durable as they could be, and the pantry could benefit from factory-built slide-out trays for easier access to items in the back. Overall, the Little Guy Max is a fantastic option for solo travelers who prioritize storage space, a bright interior, and a compact, lightweight design. With its high-quality materials and thoughtful layout, it's no wonder why this model is a favorite among recreational campers. A-Liner Classic The A-Liner Classic is a lightweight folding camper that offers a unique camping experience for those seeking a step up from traditional tent camping. At just 15 feet in length and weighing a mere 1,590 pounds, this compact trailer can easily be towed by most vehicles making it an excellent choice for weekend warriors and families looking to explore the great outdoors. The camper also boasts beautiful views from its windows and dormer pop-out windows, allowing occupants to fully immerse themselves in their surroundings. Additionally, the simple systems within the trailer are easy to modify and maintain, providing a level of convenience for owners. However, the A-Liner Classic does have some drawbacks particularly for those considering full-time living. The constant setup and takedown process can be cumbersome, especially for solo travelers. The lack of overhead storage space and the inaccessible lower storage areas can also present challenges when it comes to organizing belongings. Furthermore, the nine-piece assembly required for each setup and takedown can feel like a considerable commitment. While the interior space is well-suited for a single person, plus or minus a furry companion, it might not be the best fit for full-time living. Potential buyers should be aware that the A-Liner Classic may not fare well in gusty wind conditions due to its multi-part construction, which can lead to noise and potential instability. R-Pod RP-180 With a dry weight of just 2,950 pounds, 
and a length of 20 feet, this micro travel trailer can be towed by smaller SUVs without even needing tow mirrors. One of the standout features of the R-Pod RP180 is its narrow profile, which allows for excellent visibility when towing. Many floor plans also include a camper slide, providing a larger living space while maintaining the compact tow configuration. Additionally, the trailer is pre-wired for solar, making it easy to connect portable solar panels for off-grid power. While the R-Pod RP180 offers many benefits, there are a few drawbacks to consider. The build quality may not be the best, and some models have low ground clearance. However, Forest River does offer 3-inch axle risers as a retrofit option. Despite these minor issues, the R-Pod RP180 provides ample storage space for those who pack light, making it an excellent choice for couples or small families. The small size is a significant benefit for those upgrading from tent camping. It also offers a more comfortable and convenient camping experience. Customization options are another attractive feature of the R-Pod RP180. Owners can add amenities like an inverter for limited AC electricity when boondocking, further enhancing the trailer's functionality. Overall, the R-Pod RP180 is an excellent choice for those seeking a unique, conversation-starting small camper trailer that offers a balance of comfort, convenience, and ease of towing. With its short length and ample storage, it's well suited for both short trips and extended adventures, providing a stress-free camping experience for its owners. Winnebago Hike. Starting at $38,000, the Winnebago Hike is affordable and feature-packed, full of great boondocking perks as well as storage. This compact travel trailer has bike and kayak storage exoskeleton included on the roof of this travel trailer, as well as the sides, giving you loads of options for where you want to keep things. All of the five available floor plans are 25 feet and under, giving you plenty of options to choose from. There are some double axle travel trailer floor plans, but the single axles will offer you a lighter weight as well as less to maintain in the long run. Plus, all of these layouts have slide outs, giving you even more interior living space. Winnebago has made this travel trailer with a raised chassis, off-road tires, and a protected underbelly so that you can take this compact beauty anywhere that you want to go. While it isn't included standard, you can also get the hike equipped with a fantastic all-weather package as well as a solar package. However, these options will cost a bit extra, and some travel trailer options on this list include these features as standard. In addition, the interior design of this RV may leave much to be desired, so you may find another option on this list that suits you better. Before I go, if you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe and set the notification button to stay up to date on all of our future RV videos. Thank you for watching.